All right, guys, welcome back to episode four of Super Isolation. Um, we are under attack, big time. I am surrounded. We got zombies coming at us from all, all sorts of places. We're running low on, um, low-ish on food and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's just it, things are getting a little treacherous here. Um, however, we last episode we were starting down into this, this area. Don't really know what to call it. Sort of seems like a dungeon of sorts. So there's a spawner down below us, I believe. And I managed to find inside of my um, my settings, the uh, sound that was doing that all last episode. It was an insect sound effect. There's no insect in the game, which is part of the dynamic surroundings mod. I knew this was gonna happen, so bear with me guys. There may be some sounds we encounter as I play through this series that I'll have to, you know, sort of tweak, you know, here on out, uh, you know, in between episodes or whatever, once I find what they are. But anyways, that's what the sound was, and it should no longer be with us. We should just now have the lovely and peaceful sounds of zombies growling in our ears, which is not really what I want either, but... <laughs> anyways, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and we're just getting quickly organized here, and I think we should be all set. All right, so onward we go. Downward, onward and downward into this treacherous, treacherous area. All right, how do I want to do this? Wish I could, hold on, let me cut below here. We'll do a little bit of a murder hole situation. We can kind of farm these guys like this for a minute if we want. Barring that our, you know, sword doesn't take too much damage, but we definitely need XP. I think enchants are going to be huge in this series um, in terms of keeping us alive and uh, adding additional damage um, and defense for us, which is, you know, obviously huge. Same with potions, so I'd really kind of like to utilize that. Sort of going along the same sort of lines and themes as Super Spellbound Caves, really kind of enchanted and potion heavy series, at least that's kind of how I played it. And uh, I'm thinking about doing it the same for this episode or for this series because I think honestly it would be it's just it's just smart it's just smart to do and um, you know it's gonna be it's like one of those things that why not play that way because it's just gonna help give you an advantage you know um, all right let's see if we can ah spawners right here break yes I think there's one more zombie back here there's a chest under there Zombie back here. Oh, there's a chest over here. So there's definitely some secrets down here. Gotta be careful. It's the only way through, boys. Going right through my tunnel here, so... Have at it. Is there another spawner back here? Wouldn't be surprised if there was. Oh my goodness. Whew. Look at all these chests! Oh, this is well worth it. Heck yeah, and we got a backpack. We brought our backpack, which was maybe the smartest thing I've done all day today. <laughs> okay, cool. So here we go. We got some loot, although I'm still hearing zombies, but those might be outside. Ooh, hold on. I just saw something go by right there. Are they outside? Oh, no, there's like a little... What the? Is there, is there another area over here? This might be a tunnel to somewhere, but there's definitely some in here. Is there a spawner down there? I can't jump all the way up to see. Hmm. Ooh, what is this back here? Is it just a little alcove? To keep the zombies growling at me? Interesting. Alright, we will explore that in a moment. Here, hold on, let me grab this. Because the le they're dropping leather, dude, and leather is... That's pretty, pretty useful. All right. So let's see what we've got. Let's start with this chest over here in the corner. Oh, dude, what? Hold on, there's... There's so many! Wait, wait, wait. We gotta start by clearing out this whole room. No snow needs to be in this room. There's chests all over the place. Overall, though, guys, how have you enjoyed the, the new mods that I've added? Like, or at least the, you know... Dynamic surroundings mod. I think it's I think it's pretty great. 
And if there's any other mo little mods and little things that you think could help me out in the series, uh, you know, without skewing the the story and, and all that too much, you know, let me know. I'm definitely uh, all for adding different things. You guys know, probably know more a little bit more about Minecraft than I do at this point. Since I, t uh, you know, coming back now after like a three year hiatus. So, oh my gosh, look at all these chests we're uncovering. Wow. Now we just got to see what's in them. What's back here? Oh, ooh, that looks very important. So yeah, so anyways, I'm looking forward to getting your guys' help on this series because you guys probably know more, a lot more than I do. Okay, this is insanity. What am I gonna do with all this stuff? I guess we're gonna have to make multiple trips back and forth. Uh, I don't know. Um, there's snowballs everywhere. Okay, what do we got? An, an anvil, all right. Not an anvil. Oh, okay, so it's not like a ton of loot, but it's some stuff. It's little things. Is there another chest back behind here? There very well could be. No, there wasn't. <laughs> okay, uh, what we got in here? Ooh, chain boots. All right, so that's going to be a little bit of an upgrade. Very nice. Uh, and chained armor, chain chest plate, which is fantastic. I'll take it. Got some more clothing scraps. Always use those. Here we go. Some uh, chained helmets. Nice, nice. Nothing in that one. A are these all? Yeah, they're all labeled ancient storage chest. That's super cool. All right, so rotten flesh. Let's grab all that. Ooh, yo, we got some seeds. Fantastic. That's going to help with growing additional... <gasps> yes, growing additional uh, crops. And check it out. We've got some swords. Two swords and an extra bow. Awesome. <gasps> Ooh. Five golden apples. Yo. That is what I'm talking about. All right. So now I think we need to use the backpack. Um, so let's go ahead and put the backpack down. We will take off our chest plate. Uh... I think I need, need this with an open hand. There we go. And But now what we need to do is still need the open hand. We got to put stuff in the backpack. So let's put actually this stuff we're going to need to wear out of here. The chain chest plate, I really wish we could wear that, but we're going to have to start making some sacrifices, I think. Unfortunately. Um... So let's take these off. We'll put these on because that's also going to help us get warmer. More armor is going to allow for additional warmth. And sweet. Okay. So we've got five armor now. Golden apples. Of course, this is going to fill up very quickly with all these snow blocks, but we'll just start chucking those out of there. Oh, dang. This is a lot of arrows. Could be extremely useful. I, I want to use my bow more. I know that. All right. Nothing in there. Chain leggings. Okay. All right. Was that all of it? There was any, any back here? This might be a way out, but I don't know. Probably not. Let's make sure we light this up well enough so nothing keeps spawning back in here. Okay, so just so I'm sure, I want to double check all these chests. Just to make sure that we didn't leave anything behind. Let me check up here. Vex, I would like to say thank you for giving us this shovel. This shovel has been very nice, very helpful. I'm very glad that we, uh, that we have it. It's helping us slice through the snow like it's nobody's business, which is just making life just a little bit nicer. So thank you. And Vex has been watching the series as well. Uh, he's been leaving some comments, which is really cool. So Vex, thank you, man. Hope you enjoy my playthrough of your map. All right, what's... This just connects over to there. If anyone needs snowballs, I've got plenty. <laughs> All 
All right, so here we go. I think this is uh, maybe the first thing that we need to collect. Yes, box of white parts. Okay, knockback one. You could use this to build a new airship. If you place it in the ground, it will break and be useless. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. We're going to we're gonna take that right back to the airship today. Um, let's grab that piece of iron fence. And ooh, we are we are kind of cold. So we got to get either we, we got to either stop and get warm or just book it back. I'm thinking we just book it back maybe. Although there might be some might be some monsters out here. And actually my curiosity might also sort of get the best of me here because what if there's like secrets hidden around here, you know what I mean? I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Nothing is really sticking out to me though. Except for this. No, I think this is just a pile. Big old pile of snow. There were zombies that were spawning out here earlier. But maybe that's not happening anymore. Okay. All right, we are at negative 427, so let's get back to the geothermal plant where it's nice and toasty. Work our way back down. So we got what we came for in here, which is fantastic. Got some XP. Maybe we can do some enchanting. Oh. And these guys are freaking fast. Got a lot of arrows. Ooh, gotta run. There's a, there's gotta be another spawner up there, right? Somewhere. Ooh. Combat. Okay. Yeah, there's there's gotta be a um. There's gotta be a spawner up there. I would imagine. Hmm. But what could be up there? Treasure, maybe? I don't know. Spawner to me says like, you know, treasure kinda? Not necessarily, but it's like you you, you go through a challenge to get a reward, right? But I I don't know. Let's take our goodies back though. We'll get kind of reorganized here. And um we'll also I really want to also put the uh oh we've got slowness. Gosh dang it. Alright. Uh I really want to also put the block on the monument. But we need to get warm first. I can't move. My guy's getting really cold. And yes, I know I can stop and just and light a furnace, but we're basically right here. So might as well go get warm where there's lava, which is probably, you know, I think honestly, like lava is going to be the fastest way to get warm uh, in this series. Obviously, yes, you can put down a furnace, you can light some stuff up, but I think from sort of figuring that out at Tally's Awesome Outpost in the Boreal Valley back in episode two, I, you know, we got warm re relatively quick, but it wasn't anything like how fast it happens here in the, uh, geothermal plant by the lava, which is still by no means all that quick, but it is faster than I think a furnace. So if I'm close by, I might as well do it. So we'll get warm here and then we'll be right back. All right, we're up to a toasty, almost 400 degrees. Woo! Time to get out of here. Getting a little too on the warm end, I think. Yeah, we're getting like mining fatigue and, and weakness. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, weakness is also a bad, bad, bad thing, by the way. Uh, when we're in combat, it's just like everything's working against us. All right, so let's get this inventory fixed up because I mean yikers We got just so many snowballs here um, And then really honestly, you know what I want to do first of all to be to be truthful is I'd really rather just go out and deliver this box of white parts. Let's do that first and um, just get that You know just get that out of here. I know it's got knockback on it, which is super great but I don't really want to mess around with it because it belongs over there. But now, you know, once we're... Maybe next... I don't know when we'll do it. Maybe next episode? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get to it today. But we gotta figure out what's in the Boreal Valley. Because there's gotta be something there as well. Oh, dude. Sick. You've turned in one box of parts. You need eight total. Yo, that's so cool. It just, like, straight up built that. What? 
Oh, that's that's neat. That's really neat. What is this? Ooh. Okay. Um, very cool. Very, very cool. I don't understand all the technicalities of Minecraft sometimes, but it's pretty cool when you can do that in a vanilla game and just turn it in and stuff gets built. So, I'm not gonna complain. Um, okay, so let's check up on our crops over here. They are growing, which is fantastic. We also have more seeds here, which we'll get out of our little backpack. So let's go ahead and plant these seeds in here. Let's just plant the rest of those there. And we'll bring our backpack into the main sort of storage area and uh, we'll get organized. Now, can I place this? Probably can't place it on the carpet, right? Nope. Okay, so we've got golden apples. Now these are actually really useful. I'm thinking I might want to utilize these more. Um, I'm always, I've always been under the, you know, of the impression when you play Minecraft, it's like, ooh, I've got something valuable, let's not waste it. But <sighs> we've got five golden apples in our inventory right now. And we've got five more right here. That's ten. That's not super rare anymore. I mean, it, it, they're, they are. They're powerful. But it's not super rare anymore. And we can also make them a golden apple if we break down some of this. Some of these. I think, right? Let me double check on that recipe. Uh, wait, where would that be? Nope. Let's be in here. Or maybe, no, sorry. That's how you make a regular golden apple. Okay. I was thinking of an enchanted one. I don't think you can craft enchanted ones. As far as I know. Unless something has changed. Okay, that's fine. But, I mean, we still have, how many apples did we have? Did we have any? Twelve. So we could make, oh no, we don't. We, have enough, we don't have enough gold. But if we find gold, we, you know, we'd be in better shape. Anyways, all right, let's get let's get organized here real quick. So let's take um, our armor. We're gonna put some our armor in here. We'll grab our leather. Oops, there's more in there, and then we'll sort of get set up here. Figure out exactly how we want to outfit ourselves. Wait, it's gold. Oh, interesting. Okay, so gold legs are actually between leather and chain. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. You can't craft chain, can you? I don't think you can craft chain leggings. That's not like a vanilla thing, I don't think. I think it's just a creative mode thing, right? I don't know. Oops. Um, all right. What do we do with... What am I supposed to do with, like, flint? I, I don't know. These, by the way, are from the prismarine th thing that I got, or that was at, at our, at the start. I went back and broke that yesterday, too. The little, um, thing, the piston, sticky piston that was working. Okay, uh, so weapons. We've got tons of arrows. These are also really solid. The arrows of, um, instant damage. Those could be really useful as well. And we've got an anvil, and I'm not really sure what to do with the anvil. We've already got a couple anvils that are out, so maybe we just kind of leave that here or take it with us in a different place. I'm not 100% sure, but I think what... I think one thing that we should do is start enchanting. Um, I don't know exactly what we're going to come across rewards-wise, but it's pretty safe to say that I think we could probably, I think the first thing we could probably say is that we need some extra defense. So, chain leggings I think are our best option for pants, are they not? I believe they are. So four, three, yes. All right, so let's drop this guy in here. Oh, we need some lapis, hold on. All right, so let's do a little enchanting. Watch, watch like next episode when you get a better pair of pants. Um, and that's gonna use two levels, right? Okay, yeah, so we got protection two on those. Nice, very nice, very nice. So protection two on those pants, fantastic. And let's see, honestly, my backpack, well, you know what? 
maybe I can do what I'm just doing right now where we like put stuff in our backpack, come back, we empty it, but secretly we're, we're you know, the whole time we're really just wearing a chain chest plate because that's the best we've got. And that's, I feel like we should wear that as much as we can. You know what I mean? Because this, this is basically a value of two and a half armor. This is a value of five. That's double. So let's enchant this as well. Uh, hold on. Do I need... Do I need more lapis? Or do I need 15 levels? Oh, you know what? I need 15 levels. Ooh. All right. That's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. We can actually go back and get that. I'd rather... I'd rather do that really fast. Get up to 15 levels, then we can put a nice level two enchant on our um, on our chest plate, which would be really beneficial. I don't want to just settle for a level one enchant on this on this chest plate because we're we're at level 14. We can just go kill some more zombies, and I, that's why kind of why I left that spawner there. Well, I'm assuming it's a spawner, but I left the uh, ability for these zombies to drop out of the out of the um, the waterfall. So bring it on, boys. Let's do it. Give me some more levels. Let's go. Oh, I should get my shield out. I'm out here with a shield and I'm ready for combat. Okay, here we go. Finally, they spawned in. A couple of them spawned in. Fantastic. Come on, boys. Let's go. And ideally, I'd like to enchant a weapon today, too, if we can, but. Might not have enough levels for that. I'd rather, honestly, at this point, go defense. Because the thing with, with this game right now that I'm realizing is that everything is working against us. Once we start getting cold, we're getting weakness. That means we're going to take more damage. And these guys are hitting harder than I'm used to because I'm on hard mode. And it's just it's just a whole thing. So I'd rather stock up on defense first before we start enchanting weapons and going all crazy with fun stuff. Uh, I know enchanted armor is not the most exciting thing in the world. But it is better than dying in my opinion so i'd rather go that for that route come on we need one more zombie till we get to 15 look at me i'm sitting right on the edge of 14 and 15 here anybody oh my gosh i thought i almost just jumped down to that do you guys see that oh my gosh i i thought i almost just died oh that was gonna be terrible that would have been terrible okay here we go Well, I need that XP. Come on over here, dude. Where are you going? There you go. Take more damage. That's perfect. All right, I'll, I'll farm you guys. I don't care. A little extra, a couple extra levels. All right, we're at level 15. All right, I think that's probably good. Let's head back. I don't want to spend forever here. Unless there's more that are dropping down, but I don't I don't see any. So we'll head on back. Get this chest plate enchanted. Now, the reason I didn't wear the chest plate to this combat scenario was because I didn't want it to take any damage. I figured, hey, Close enough to home base that it's not a big deal. We'll just put the leather one on. That way we can enchant a essentially brand new piece of armor. All right. Feels good to be back. Feels good to be back. Okay. Um, rotten flesh goes over here. Armor right there. Okay. Let's take this off. And put this in here. So there we go. Unbreaking. Do I want... Hmm. Is this a thing? Like, remember how back in the old days you could, like, take the thing out and put it back in and it would, like, give you a different reading maybe? I don't know if I want unbreaking on that. 
I'd rather have protection. What do I have on this one? Protection two? Yeah, see, that's huge. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to change it. So let's see what we get. Unbreaking two. Okay. Kind of lame. Kind of lame. But that's fine. Um, so now, check it out. Our armor value is a lot higher. It's looking, looking pretty solid. Um, and, you know, we do still have some levels. So I think, honestly, Iron Sword... You know, let's go ahead and we, oh, we can get a, uh, we can get a level two here. Smite. Ooh, smite would be really good, actually. Yeah. Let's get a sword with smite and let's also get one. Oh no, don't tell me you're going to take 15. Oh, sharpness two would be legit too. Hmm. Sweeping edge. Oh, what is that enchantment? Oh my gosh. I'm so out of the loop. Let's just go with it. Oh, sharpness one. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? I also forgot that we have all this stuff too. Oh my goodness. Protection three. But that, like, that's something I would like to save to put on, um, you know, uh, like a diamond, some, some sort of a di <laughs> diamond piece of armor or whatever. Do we have anything else that I want to enchant here? We got a brand new... We have a helmet. The helmet's going to be on at all times. Put 10 on there. Projectile protection. Um, let's just do it. It's better than nothing. We haven't fought skeletons yet, but we will. Oh, we will. I'm sure. I am sure of it. Um, we got nine levels now. We might as well just, just enchant the whole outfit here. Let's see what we can get here. Protection one. I mean, I'll take protection one at this stage of the game. Episode four, getting protection one on our boots. It's not bad. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Can't hurt, right? All right, so there we go. We've got a, a fully enchanted kit of armor. Although, can you even tell? Is it glowing? Can't really tell. Is that a shaders thing or is that just a Minecraft thing? I thought it, glow it was supposed to glow. <laughs> Either way, guys, I'm going to end episode four here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back with episode five very, very soon. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, take care. Peace.